The story so far. Spurred on by a curious notebook she acquired, Tressa set forth on a journey. Now she follows in the footsteps of the anonymous author in hopes of seeing the world and all the treasures it holds. Now, where did I leave off? Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are quite so precious as our encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new for however brief a time is unforgettable. For it is a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarry Crest. It's a sleepy little mining town, for now at least. Rumor has it there's gold, there's gold in these hills, and many a prospector has their eyes set on it. I wonder what encounters may await me here. This must be Quarry Crest. Could there really be gold here? Eureka! <laughs> gold! I've struck gold! Now this is something to write home about. Huh? Where's there, where there's one, there's more, and I'll find them all. <laughs> Not if I find them first. No way. I guess there really is gold in these hills. <laughs> something tells me this may be a good place to set up shop. Stay your hands, it's Mr. Morlock. Good to see you. You're all toiling about so earnestly. Mm. Who's this Mr. Morlock? <laughs> Look, sir, real gold. How much you reckon it's worth? Mm. Let me see that beautiful nugget. Hmm. I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. I'll say it once more, so listen well. This mine and all the land surrounding it is the sole property of the esteemed Mr. Morlock. As such, any and all gold here is his by right. But fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man, and he'll buy the gold off of anyone who finds it. So keep digging, and you may find yourself with riches beyond measure. Looks like this Mr. Morlock fellow has an iron grip on this mine. I guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. But still. My merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity. Ooh, travel banter. I have a pretty unique party. This should be interesting. This smells like trade, I say. Hmm? hmm? What sort of smell would that be? Hmm, how can I put it? The smell of wares flying off the shelves of coin earned in Baron Square. You speak of profit. Well, yes, in a matter of speaking. But trade is more than that. It's about adventure. Stories waiting to be told. A nobler calling, then, than the pursuit of base coin. Exactly. If you speak the truth, I shall join you in sniffing out this trade. Two noses are better than one. 
Oh, this girl. She is too precious. I can't, guys, I can't play this game anymore. It may not be Octopath Traveler. Just too many, there's too many precious baboos in this game. They're so precious. Can we just never, ever have Tressa be hurt ever again? Can Tressa just be protected at all times? Is that an option? Uh, so, I still need to do some armor and shit. But I'm actually really surprised. This is better than what I have, generally. It's kind of a shame. It's better than, like, everyone's, generally. It seems like the better lands. I thought the lands I bought was pretty good. Turns out it wasn't. That's minorly disappointing. Minorly. Hmm. I dig and dig and dig, and I still can't find any gold. Dash. Curses! Curse my luck! I thought this would be my chance to turn it all around! I was such a fool, I even borrowed money to get this far. How can I ever face my wife again? <gasps> What's that? Excuse me, sir. I'll buy those stones from you. You will? Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> you have use of my goods? Bless you. Always looking for a bargain. I can't sell these to you in good conscience. They're just lousy rocks. <laughs> but I insist. I'm a merchant, and I feel like there's more to these than meets the eye. In that case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. Wow. That's... really nice of you. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! Underneath that grimy exterior was a gorgeous gem just waiting to be discovered. Well, well. You've got quite an eye, young lady. Huh? Pardon? Oh. Hey, those are the same stones I bought. <laughs> right you are. I'm a traveling merchant. Allie's the name. I'm Tressa. I'm a traveling merchant, too. I've never seen stones that glow quite like these. They look just like ordinary rocks at first, but it'll take more than that to fool me. <laughs> you have no idea what you bought, do you? Should I? Indeed. These are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some elbow grease. And you have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. No way! I had no idea. <laughs> and still you bought all those stones? Heck of a green pea you are. What? Green pea? See you around. Well, keep up the good work. See you around, green pea. Hmm. I think he called you an amateur. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he called you an amateur. Green pea? He's just a mean pea. But I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. Oh, Tressa, you are too adorable, and I I love every moment with you. 
Step right up. Come one, come all. Be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest stone, one of the rarest treasures in the realm. Oh. Gold. <laughs> nope, it's better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this, the shimmering sky stone. Oh my! Oh. Look how it sparkles. Oh. Let me see. Well, quite the beauty, isn't it? Why, I... I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely breathtaking. Yes. Yes, but did you know the Sky Stone's radiance is only surpassed by its rarity? So if you'd like one for your own, this might be your only chance. I see. I'll take one. Spread. Oh, me too. I kept on expecting that merchant in the background to call her out. Phew. Phew. Those stones practically sold themselves. Yeah. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. Oh, purchase not. Okay, I see what she's doing. She can buy these stones super cheap and then sell them back as what they actually are. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I could see I could see the the, uh, the idea behind that. That makes perfect sense. Uh, a wise business move, if you will. So now we gotta find people to buy from. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this. I have a feeling this sky stone isn't what I think it is. Or at the very least, someone's playing me. I don't know, all Octopath Traveler has done is showed me you can't always trust people. I'll be back for those, don't you worry. Wow, 7,000 gold though. I can't imagine I'm gonna get back that money. Like, this sounds like a great hustle, but what if someone catches on to this, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, you know, a hustle's a hustle, and if you get hustled, that's, a, that's your problem, not mine. But at the same time, though, it does seem a little unfair to buy these so cheap from people and then only to sell them back at probably more than what we paid. But if you take into account, we only bought them for like 125 gold, right? So even on the off chance that she sold them at 100% markup for 250, which I don't think is what she did, she wouldn't have to sell them that much more to make a decent profit. Oh shit. This, my friend, is the one and only Sparkle. Shine Sky Stone. You can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> first first law of business, sweet cheeks. It's only a matter of time until someone undercuts you. You see, well, you have to sell yours at a higher price because you have less of them. He can probably sell his at half the price and probably still make a decent amount since he probably got them himself. <laughs> what a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? 
I won't go down without a fight. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way... Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? No, he doesn't, because he's, he's an actual businessman. And you know what? Sometimes you got to wine and dine to make a few bucks. That's called a hustle. Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That doll's a boulder fall make, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember the dear father who gave it to her. Its light will connect her to you, no matter how far you may travel. Oh wow, this guy is- wow, this guy's impressive! Holy shit! Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. I can just see her smiling face now. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this is a hustle. I just don't know how. Are they fake? What a pleasant young man. Yeah, I'll take one. You're most welcome, my good sir. What? Step right up. There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, if he's selling them at a fraction of her cost, they have to be fake, or something has to be off with them. They can't really be real, right? Like, all the ones that we got have been from actual people in the mines. We don't know where he got his. Would you look at that? Business is booming. Well, maybe not for all of us. You are a smug little bastard, aren't you? You win this round. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. And maybe a few other strings while you're at it. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. Call me Green Pea again, homie. Call me Green Pea one more time. I'm laying these hands on you so fast. <clears throat> Aw, you made my you made my adorable Tressa upset.
This alley fellow seems rather good at this. Urgh, I can't believe he got away with that. I must confess, I've never met some I've never met anyone so smooth of tongue. In a way, it's hard not to admire him. Ophelia, whose side are you on anyway? But why, why yours, of course. This isn't over. I swear I'll make more coin than him before we're through. Just so, and I shall offer a blessing for your success. Do you think I need to practice my sales pitch? You mean, to be more persuasive like Allie? No, not exactly, not like him exactly, but if I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things. Er, well, I suppose it could just have been practice that makes him sound so clever. Exactly, so all I need to do is practice more. In fact, I'll start now. You pretend to be a customer, alright? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, poor Ophelia. That poor girl. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. Hello there. Your finest meatball, sir. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Green Pea, you're looking famished. Here. I take it you're on a tight budget now. Keep it. I refuse to take pity food from a rival. Oh, all right. Suit yourself. Say. So, why'd you take up this line of work anyway? You see. Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. You don't say. My old man's a merchant, too. In the South, everyone and their uncles heard of Mar Maruf the merchant. He was such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. With just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them feel genuinely happy about their purchase. It was like magic. His word had an incredible power, one that could help people see the beauty in the things they purchased. And, then. and so I decided to follow my old man's footsteps. Really? Did you ri did you take up the family business? No. no. I ran away from home. What? I'll spare you the details. That's just how things played out. I see. It wasn't so different for me, you know. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. No. Well, I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Same to you. I made the best merchant win. Well, well, you seem to be doing well for yourself. Illegal though your business may be. Mm. And who are you? <clears throat> Watch your tone, boy. Mr. Morlock owns this establishment as well as everything else in this town. <clears throat> Ahem, that I most certainly do. Hey, no. That's great and all. But what do you mean by illegal? You may own all the gold, but these weren't just dusty old rocks, and these were just dusty old rocks until I polished them to a sheen. Uh -oh. That pompous attitude will get you th will get you in trouble someday, boy. As landowner here, Mr. Morlock owns the right to oversee any and all business transactions he so desires. 
As of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. Hmm. Does it now? That seems awfully arbitrary, if you ask me. But that wouldn't be the first foul thing to happen here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Morlock? You see, the price of gold actually. is actually ten times what you're giving your miners. Ali. Ali, maybe this isn't the time... It's exactly the time they're, deceive they're deceiving honest, hard-working people just to line their pockets. On my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. Omar, teach this desert ant what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Ready to be squashed? Ready to be squished, boy? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'm stronger than I look. I'm well versed in all the martial arts. Let's do this. Allie, the one man army they call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who who any who wrong the common man. All right, dude, listen. I appreciate all your uh, your bluster, but talking isn't going to win you a battle. I've killed more people than I can count at all with one hand. Then you'll make a fine opponent. Uh. <laughs> Tressa, now is not the time. The one-man army? Ha! A merchant's weapon is his words. We don't stand a chance on a real battlefield. My fight was lost. The, my fight was lost the instant we came to blows. I trust you've learned your lesson, Ant. Hmm. Looks like your words weren't selling so well. Don't worry. I'll take them off your hands. These, sto these stones belong to me. Do you understand? If you're so determined to have them, though, I'll let you be my little worker ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> oh, this is some bullshit. Oh, shit, they dragging off Ellie. What the fuck? You can't just drag that poor man off. I can't believe that man. How dare he take advantage of people to line his own pockets? That's just dirty. Ellie. I might not agree with everything he does. But I do agree with what he said to Mr. to what he said to Morlock. Even if he could have been more diplomatic about it. I have to save him. Morlock said he'd be in his manor. It's time to pay him a visit. Oh shit. Ooh. How low can you get? I won't stand for this. Tressa. Calm yourself, Tressa. He's going to pay. Do you hear? Don't try to stop me. I shall not. But at the very least, allow me to help you. Better two than one, yes? Truth be told, I was angry too. It was only the quickness of your temper that has allowed me to control mine. Oh. Well. Then you understand how I feel after all. Thank you, Sir Ulbrich. You need not thank me. We are comrades on this journey. <laughs> you got that right. Ulbrich, you are a very uh, calm, collected individual. I appreciate you. Yeah, we're all full of health. Shit, I haven't done shit this chapter. Oh, you guys know the drill. Check out the shop real quick. Dun, 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 dun. 
I'll buy a few. I don't need many of them. I don't tend to blow that much SP uh, in general these days. I've actually been pretty good since I started using abilities. Turns out when you actually start playing the game the way the game wants you to play, it's actually not that difficult of a game. Oh, why? Why is this man's mansion located all the way out in the freaking desert? This is dumb. I mean, I, got, I get you had to have it somewhere. I just felt like he would have it closer to the actual village itself. But I guess when you're rich, you don't really want to be around the common folk. Let us fight with honor. The battle is truly joined. Yeah, I know. I don't need to fight any of you. At my level, I don't have to fight them. Anyways, guys, next time on Octopath Traveler, we shall uh, see exactly what comes of this little dilemma and try to free Ali. At least that's the plan. Next time, I will see you all. Have a wonderful day.